Uh, wapenzi watazamaji popote mlipo ninawasalimu hamjambo karibu tena kwenye mwendelezo wa masungumzo yetu asante sana kwa hiyo support ambayo mnazidi kutupea kwa sababu ya bila nyinyi hatungekuwa tumefika 92000 subscribers please continue sharing at least by January 2025 ukute tumefika 100000 tuzidi kujenga kituo chetu mahala ambapo ka uh, tutakuwa tunasungumza wapenzi watazamaji sijui ni kitu gani ambacho kinasukuma wale mawakili ambao ni marafiki wa William Ruto uzidi kumlazimisha naibu rais Rigathi Gachagua aweze kujiuzulu aweze kuresign despite kwamba anapitia wakati mgumu Sijui ni kwa nini hao mawakili wake Rais William Ruto wale mawakili ambao wanaonekana kwamba wanaegemea upande wa William Ruto wanamlazimisha naibu Rais Rigathi Gachagua aweze kuresign licha kwamba anapitia wakati mgumu Sasa hivi nao tunajua kwamba anapitia wakati mgumu na sio kitu cha kudanganyana lakini mbona mawakili wa serikali up to a next step wana create fake posts wakisema kwamba gachao ameweza kuwaita wanahabari nyumbani kwake Karim kuanzia saa moja jioni siku ya Jumaine tarehe 15 mwezi wa kumi mwaka 2024 na na akienda ku I don't know why kama sasa hivi wakili mmoja ameweza kumshauri Regadi Gashawa aweze ku baada ya mahakama siku ya Jumaine kukataa ombi la Rigathi Gachagua kusimamisha mswada wa kumuondoa mamlakani chances za Rigathi Gachagua kujiokoa kutoka kwa hii misuko misuko ya kumuondoa mamlakani ziliweza kupungua mnamo siku ya Jumaine baada ya mahakama ya milimani kukataa kumsikiliza Rigathi Gachagua kwamba wampe conservatory order. Unajua conservatory order ni hukumu ambayo unatolewa na mahakama kuweza kusimamisha mchakato fulani kwa wakati. Lakini mahakama ikiongozwa naye Chacha Mwita waliweza kusema kwamba of course mahakama imeweza kupewa jukumu la kuingilia kati na kuleta usawa mahala ambapo wananchi wanahisi kwamba ama walalamikaji wanahisi kwamba hakuna usawa but chacha mwita akasema kwamba wacha mahakama yani wacha bunge la seneti liweze kumaliza mambo yao endapo gachawa hataweza kuridhika kisha aende mahakamani aweza kufikisha kesi pale ya kulalamika nao baada ya Mahakama hiyo ya milimani kuweza kumshauri Rigathi Gachawa kwamba wacha Senate iweze kumalizana na mchakato wao wa kusikiliza mswada wa kukuondoa ma, mamlakani na endapo hautaweza kuridhika na uamuzi ambao uliweza kutolewa pale unaweza ma, kuja mahakamani ufikishe kesi pale kuna wakili rafiki wa Rais William Ruto Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi akaweza kukuja na kumpea naibu rais Rigathi Gachagua ushauri kwamba ameweza kusalia na masaa machache aweze kuresign ili aweze kuokoa siasa zake za mbeleni endapo anataka kuja kugombea kiti cha urais Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi aliweza kumwambia Gachagua kwamba yuko na masaa machache mpaka siku ya Jumatano lunch saa saba hapo aweze kuresign kwa sababu asiporesign kufika saa saba Wednesday kuanzia saa nane kwenda juu huenda kafungiwa nje so nimeweza kushtushwa mbona Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi ameweza kujiunga na bloggers wa serikali ambao wamekuwa wakimtusi Rigathi Gachawa. Sasa hivi wanaonekana kwamba kwamba wanajali sana, wanamjali sana 
regardi gachagua kwa kuweza kumshauri arizai gachagua ameweza kukataa kusikiliza huo buzi wao ameweza kuamua kwamba kama ni mbaya mbaya wacha asonge mbele endapo watamuondoa mamlakani ni sawa lakini yeye ameweza kuamua wacha asonge mbele kwa sababu anaamini kwamba seneti ama mahakama itaweza kupata kwamba anapigwa vita na wala hakuna ushahidi wa kutosha mboga kuonyesha kwamba yuko na makosa Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi baada ya mahakama ya milimani kukataa kumpea rigadi gachagua hukumu uh, wa kuweza kuzuia uh, impeachment motion upande wa senate isije kaendelea aliweza kukuja na akaandika hivyo jinsi ambavyo unaona hapo Honorable Rigadi Gachagua has a very short window to resign I let me tell you Unajua kuna watu ambao wakisungumza unajua huyu ni William Ruto amesungumza Oscar Sudi Imani Ichungwa Arun Cheruyot Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi Hawa watu wakisungumza pamoja na mtu ambaye anaitwa kuna huyu mtu wa karibu sana na William Ruto anaitwa Umkale kutoka Elgeyo Marakwet Kuna huyu personal assistant wa William Ruto mbona nimemsahau hivi Hao watu wakisungumza unajua automatically ni William Ruto amesungumza like now Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi ameweza kuchapisha ujumbe kwa niaba ya President Ruto Huyu ni William Ruto anasema hivi Honorable Rigadi Gachagua has a very short window to resign. If he wants to have a new lease of life in politics, he must resign before the impeachment motion kicks off in the Senate. If he tries to resign midstream when the impeachment process is in motion, and the evidence is tabled and prosecuted by the pro, uh, presentations of the national assembly the senate will not stop the process it will continue and render judgment his belated resignation notwithstanding so in my respective view he must resign by lunch time tomorrow at latest so ladies and gentlemen huyu ni william ruto anasungumza kwa niaba ama kupitia kwa post yake ahmed nasir abdullahi because william ruto aweza akachapisha ujumbe kama huo wa kenya watamshambulia vibaya sana so ahmed nasir anamshauri gachawe tu kwamba Yuko na kipindi chache sana cha kuweza kujiuzulu kabla ya seneti kwanza kusikiliza mswada wa kumuondoa mamlakani. Eti kwamba endapo ataweza kuresign kujiuzulu kipindi ambapo seneti itakuwa imeanza kusikiliza hukumu yake na ushahidi umeweza kufikishwa kwenye meza ya seneti hawataweza kumsamehe. Wataweza kumuondoa mamlakani. Aweza kumwambia kwamba eti yuko na wakati mchache sana eti kwamba umeweza kujitolea kumpea ushauri wa kieshima eti kwamba aweze ku resign between now mpaka kesho lunch na rigadi la chao wamekataa kusikiliza huo puzi wao because honorable okay lawyer lam ahmed nasir abdullahi ni miongoni mwa wale watu ambao wamekoa kimtusi rigadi la chao Mbona sasa hivi wanaonekana kwamba eti kwamba wanajifanya wazuri kumshauri Rigadi Gachagua aweze ku resign? What is the main reason as to why serikali ina push Rigadi Gachagua aweze ku resign? Because they have been pushing for his resignation. And one thing have learned from Rigadi Gachagua he is not a pushover. Yeye si mtu ambaye anasukumwa. Ni mtu ambaye yuko na maamuzi yake. Na Rigadi Gachagua kutoka kitaba alikuwa anasema hivi, no single day ata resign. Because akiresign ataonekana kwamba yeye ni mwoga. 
Number two, akirizain, ataonekana kwamba yale mashtaka ambayo bunge la kitaifa walikuwa memfungulia ama zile tuuma ambazo bunge la kitaifa walikuwa memfungulia ni za ukweli. Akirizain ataonekana kwamba ni mwoga. Na nielewa penzi wa tazamaji. So asipo resign serikali itaingiwa na uoga sana. But my question is this. Why is William Ruto using bloggers and lawyers to intimidate regarding the chako to resign? Number one, amegundua kwamba bonge la seneti litaenda kupitia ushaidi. Ushaidi baida, baada ya ushaidi waweza kuona je ule ushaidi ambao serikali iliweza kuwasilisha je unatosha mboga kuweza kuwafanya wao kumuondoa regardi gachawa mamlakani wakipata kwamba hakuna ushaidi regardi gachawa hakuna penya naenda so it's either serikali meweza kuria laisi kwamba hawana ushaidi so wanataka kutumia bloggers pamoja na mawakili kumtishia regardi gachawa aweza kujiuzuru na regardi gachawa ameweza kuonekana kwamba yeye si mtu amba anatishwa yeye si mtu ambaye anauziwa uoga. Namba tu kuna kitu ambacho nimeweza ku realize kutoka hapa. Wakenya wameweza kugundua kwamba bunge la kitaifa ni bedroom ya William Ruto. Bunge la kitaifa ni jikoni ya William Ruto, mahala ambapo ataweza kooa, anaweza kamwaga maji na wafuate kitu ambacho anataka. So, wa Kenya wanataka kuweza kuangalia hivi. Endapo bunge la seneti nalo litakuwa linatumiwa na William Ruto kuweza kuendeleza siasa zake za upumbavu. Na nielewa wapenzi wa tazamaji. So, macho yote ya wa Kenya yako kwenye bunge, yani wako eh wa, macho yote ya wa Kenya yako kwenye bunge la seneti uweza kuona endapo seneti nayo na inatumika jinsi ambavyo bunge la kitaifa wakiongozwa na kimani ichungwa wanatumika kuweza kuendeleza upuzi wa William Ruto endapo seneti itaweza kujisimamia waweze kuangalia ushaidi wa kila pande zote ambao wameweza kuwasilisha kabla hawajaweza kutoa uamuzi bila shaka heshima yote itasalia kwenye bunge la seneti lakini wakinunuliwa waweze kutoa waweze kutoa uamuzi kulingana na jinsi ambavyo serikali inataka bila shaka bunge la seneti litaonekana kwamba ni bunge ambalo halina heshima na nielewa lakini mbona serikali inamlazimisha rigadi gachawa aweze ku resign si waache waache seneti iweze kuamua na nielewa wananchi wameweza kukuja na kumwambia William Ruto bwana stop selling fear to the Murima giant senior the real man should fight to the end regardi gachako unajua ameweza kuonyesha ujasiri wake kwamba yeye ni mwanaume kamili atapigana mpaka mwisho hawezi akauziwa uoga hmm? Gachawa will not resign and he will also not be impeached. I don't know what is your take ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Unaisi ni kwa nini serikali namlazimisha Gachawa aweze ku resign? Unaisi Gachawa ameweza kufanya makosa kweli? Kama Gachawa angekuwa amefanya makosa, wangemwaacha. Asomewe mashtaka na wala sio kuanza kumuuzia uoga huo, oh, sijui sasa jiuzulu. 2027 uende kuulizia kiti. Nani alikuambia Gachawa anataka kiti? Wacha kule hii yenye ameweza kupewa na wananchi kwanza. See you in the next video.